sagot nito. So, find the solution set uh, of these trigonometric equations in the interval 0 to 2 pi. Ibig sabihin, find all the values of theta, x, y, between 0 to 2 pi. Not including 2 pi tayo. Okay? So, anong sabi natin when solving trigonometric equations? Kopyahin ko lang. Uh, sabi natin, uh, wag magdi-divide by uh, by something na may variable. So, in this case, parang tempting mag-divide both sides by sine theta. Pero, wag natin gagawin yun. Because, you're not sure if sine theta is 0 or not. So, what we do, uh, kailangan 0 yung isang side. And then, we try to factor out the expression. And in this case, uh, we can factor out sine theta. We get 2 sine square theta minus 1 equal to 0. So, we have a product equal to 0. So, equate each factor to 0, right? This is like what we always do. And then, isosolve mo sila bawat isa. So, let us start with this one. Uh, case 1, case 2 na lang natin. Case 1, sine theta is 0. So, what are the values of theta between 0 to 2 pi will make sine theta 0? So, ang ginagawa ko dyan, I always draw. Ah, saan yung y equal to 0? This is y equal to 0. And which angle? siya nagko-correspond on the unit circle. So, sa dalawang angle na to. So, which is theta equal to 0 and theta equal to theta equal to pi. So, theta is equal to 0, theta equal to pi. Okay. And we have case 2. Case 2 is 2 sine square theta minus 1 is 0. And sine theta, if you try to compute for sine square theta, you get 1 half, right? And if you square root both sides, sine theta is plus minus square root of 1 half or plus minus 1 over square root of 2. And if you rationalize this, you get sine theta is plus or minus square root of 2 over 2. So, dalawang case na naman ito, no? So, it's either sine theta is equal to square root of 2 over 2 or sine theta equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. And then, which values of theta between 0 to 2 pi will make sine square root of 2 over 2? So, ganito. Drawing na lang ng unit circle. So, locate si square root of 2 over 2. So, ano yung mga angles mo na may y coordinate na square root of 2 over 2 in the unit circle? So, these are the two angles. So, this is the first one and this is the other one. At anong angle yung nauna? Pi over 4. Tapos, yung isa dyan multiple ni pi over 4 din, pero nasa quadrant 2, which is 1 pi over 4, 2 pi over 4, 3 pi over 4. So, for this case, theta is pi over 4 or 
3 pi over 4. For this case naman, so ganun lang ulit. Negative square root of 2 over 2 yung sign mo. So the y coordinate of p of theta is negative square root of 2 over 2. So ito yung isang angle. And this is the other angle. So anong angle ito? Anong pi over 4 yun? That is 5 pi over 4 at yung isa 7 pi over 4. Okay. So the solution said, let's collect all the values na nakuha natin. This, this, and this. So for three equations, expect multiple solutions. So 0, pi, pi over 4, 3 pi over 4, 5 pi over 4, 7 pi over 4. This is the solution set for number 1. Kinolek lang natin itong mga na-compute natin. That's the solution set. Okay, questions with the first item? Wala naman. Usog lang natin yan. Okay, next, number 2. Copy natin si number 2. Uh, we have secant squared theta equal to 2 tangent theta. So, anong technique ang gagamitin for number 2? What makes number 1 easy? Ito. Bakit siya madaling ma-compute? So, think. Yes, napafactor mo agad, no? Uh, napafactor mo siya kasi uh, you can think of this sine theta as isang variable lang because everything is uh, in terms of sine theta. So, ganun yung gagawin nyo sa ibang problems kapag mix-mix yung trig functions. You try to express it as a single trig function in terms of a sim in terms of a single trig function so parang ito uh, you have tangent and you have secant so mukhang uh, yung secant pwede mong gawing tangent no because you have the identity Pythagorean identity uh, recall natin that 1 plus tangent square theta is secant square theta. Okay, para ma-express natin siya in terms of a single trig function. So, replace secant square theta by 1 plus tangent square theta. Okay. Tapos, tignan natin kung factorable na ba ito pag nilipat natin everything sa isang side. Magiging ganyan siya, ba? Nilipat natin si 2 tangent to the left. Okay, tapos yung tangent, isipin nyo as isang variable lang yan. Let's say, isipin mo as y lang yan. It's like you have y square minus 2y plus 1. Parang ganun lang. So, ang question, is this factorable? So, parang ang itsura nyan ay y square minus 2y plus 1. So, y minus 1 square. Ganyan. Yung ganyan siya, no? But y is tangent theta. 
Okay, so tangent theta minus one square sya. equal to zero. Just take the square root of both sides. Square root ng zero is zero. Okay, so tangent theta is one. So, ito na yung kailangan memorize ang unit circle. Uh, usually, dalawa yung values lagi na makukuha ninyo, no? So, pag 0 to 2 pa lang. So, ano yung obvious na value dito? It's pi over 4. Kapag equal lang tangent, ay isang angle mo is yung mirror reflection niya sa origin with respect to the origin so ano yung multiple ni pi over 4 na nasa quadrant 3 uh, that is 5 pi over 4 so the solution set is 5 pi over 4 pi over 4 and 5 pi over 4 okay, pag tangent uh, reflection about the origin so kukuha ka lang ng isang solution tapos re-reflect mo sa origin okay makukuha mo isa, dalawa lang lagi kapag ano, 0 to 2 pi uh, kapag sa sign naman uh, kukuha ka ng isang angle tapos i-reflect mo about the y-axis, yung mirror image niya. So, parang ito, sin theta equal to 0. So, yung obvious na magpapa 0 sa sin theta is yung angle na 0. And then, you reflect it about the y-axis. Kaya nakuha natin yung pi. E, sa ibang cases, ganun din. Uh, sin theta is square root of 2 over 2. Yung obvious is pi over 4. Yun yung madaling makita. And then you reflect it about the y-axis. So, anong multiple ni pi over 4? Yung nandito sa quadrant 2. 3 pi over 4. Sin theta equal to negative square root of 2 over 2. It's 5 pi over 4 yung isa. So, sa reflect mo about the y-axis. 7 pi over 4. Okay? May question ba doon? Ano lang yung tips and tricks? Eh, paano pag cosine? Kunyari, cosine theta equal to 1 half. How will you get theta? So, ano muna yung magpapa 1 half sa cosine? Isang value lang. Kunyari, theta mo in 0 to 2 pi. Uh, example lang ito. Wala ito dun sa exercises. So, ilolocate mo sa x to 1 half. Okay, kasi ang x ang cosine is x coordinate ng p of theta. Uh, 1 half ang p of theta mo. So meaning ang cosine mo must be pi uh, theta mo is pi over 3. To get the other one, you reflect it about the x axis. So the other one is somewhere here. So, anong theta yan? So, it should be a multiple of pi over 3 and in quadrant, quadrant 4. So, anong angle yon? It's 5 pi over 3. Okay? So, ganun nyo siya kinukuha. Okay? Number 3 na tayo. Kopihin ko ito. So, tatandaan nyo yung mga techniques na ginawa natin, ha? Yung una, ano, factor lang. Pangalawa, express in terms of a single trig function and then factor. So, number three, ano kaya yung technique ang gagawin dyan? So, this is number three. Ano kaya yung technique ang gagawin? Okay. 
Uh, for number three, anong mapapansin ninyo? Sa mga angles, meron kang 2x, tapos may x ka dito. So, uh, kung kaya nyo gawin siyang puro x lang lahat, gawin nyo x lang siya lahat, or gawin nyo pare-pareha yung angle. Uh, madaling gawin dito yung sine 2x, you can express it in terms of of x lang, no? Uh, because sine x, 2 sine x, o 2 sine x, sine 2x is equal to 2 sine x cos x. Tama. Yun yung gagamitin natin for this part. So, twice nito, magiging 4. sin x cos x minus 2 sin x plus 6 cos x minus 3 equal to 0. Okay? So, sabi ko kanina kung kayang uh, gawing in terms of a single trig function, gawing ganun. Okay? Tapos, factor yung next step. Kaso, in this case, parang Tingnan nyo, oh, kaya nyo ba itong gawing puro cosine lahat or puro sine lahat? Uh, wala akong maisip na paraan kasi walang nakas, walang naka square Kung may naka square at least pwede tayo mag-Pythagorean identity. Okay, try natin i-factor. Baka naman factorable siya. Okay, yung crucial part doon yung pagpa-factor. Kailangan lang naman ma-factor nyo equal to zero. Yun yung, yun yung main goal para ma-solve nyo yung trig equations or yun yung ano tawag dito key step na madalas madalas nakakapagpasob sa trig equation uh, try natin factor yung 2 sin x dito what do we get? we get 2 cosine x minus 1 and then, in this expression, let us factor out 3. Cox. Cos, that is cosine x. Okay, so factor out 3, you get 2 cosine x minus 1. Nagkaroon ba ng milagro? Okay. May ko... Yes, ang milagro natin dito ay may common factor. This is the common factor. 2 cosine x minus 1. So, 2 sine x plus 3. Pinactor natin ito. And then, equal to 0. Anong next step? Equate each factor to 0. Ayan, dumali yung problem natin. So, cases na tayo na itong case na to, tas itong case na to. So, case 1... 2 cosine x minus 1 equal to 0. So, if you compute for cosine, that is 1 half. Okay. So, ang cosine mo ay 1 half. So, lo-locate mo yung 1 half. Yung x mo dyan yun yung angle. So, 1 half. So, yung isang magpapa 1 half ay x equal to... Ang x mo angle yan, ha? Uh, ano yun? Uh, pi over 3. And then the other one reflection about the x-axis which is 5 pi over 3. So in this case, sir, x is pi over 3. 5 pi over 3 yung isa. Okay? How about case 2?
So, if you try to compute for sine x, you get negative 3 over 2. So, what can you say about this uh, equation for case 2? Yes, very good. Hala, saan yung nalaman yun? Charat. <laughs> so, walang solution ito. Uh, because... ang sin x actually sin and cosine no? but uh, sin x ang kailangan natin dito sin x is between negative 1 to 1 only for all x for all x na real number so it means kahit anong ilagay mong x dyan it should not be lower than negative 1 it should not be greater than 1 so andito lang dapat siya from negative 1 to 1 lang so, ang solution set for this item is uh, the set containing pi over 3 and 5 pi over 2. Okay. Questions sa first 3 items natin. Yes. Yes, ang cosine negative 1 to 1 lang din siya. Okay. So, move on na ba tayo? Sa item 4. Okay, number 4 na tayo. Ito, madaling mag-factor, right? Parang pinapamigay niya sa inyo yung factoring, no? Kasi iba yung challenge nung ano na to. Uh, nung question na to. So, I factored out sin 3y and then equate each factor to 0. Uh, cosine 2y minus 1 is 0. So, cases tayo. Case 1 sine 3y equal to 0. Ah, anong pinakaiba nito dun sa mga sinov natin na 1, 2, 3? So, balikan natin yung mga questions. Ayan. Ano yung sa tingin nyo pinakaiba ng 1, 2, 3 doon sa 4? Or nung 4 sa 1, 2, 3? Hmm, ang tingin nyo pare-pareha lang siyang lahat. <laughs> ah, hindi. Ah, pag doon sa 1, 2, 3, as you can observe, yung angle mo, theta lang, while in number 3, even though this is 2x, you can express it in terms of x lang. Tama. Tignan nyo yung number 3. Balikan natin, ha? Yung 2x na express mo in terms of x. Kaya ang nagiging ending niya, dun sa mga cases, nagiging cosine of x equal to something, sine of x equal to something, tapos dun sa mga nauna, tignan nyo, sin theta, sin theta, tangent theta. Kung mapapansin nyo, yung mga angle niya, lone variable lang. Walang ibang coefficient yung, variable, yung, yung angle. Unlike dito, tingnan nyo, case 1, sin, hindi siya sin y lang, it's sin 3y equal to 0. Meron kang coefficient doon. So, yun yung, yun yung nagpapahirap dyan. <laughs> Benjo nagpapahirap. Okay? So, ang gagawin nyo dyan, parang ganun lang din, although iisipin nyo muna yung 3y as a single angle, and find yung dalawang solutions niya sa, sa 0 to 2 pi, or sa unit circle. Okay? So, kailan magsi-zero ang sign? 
So, zero ang sign kapag zero yung angle mo or yung angle mo is pi. Ano yung angle mo? Your angle is 3y muna. Okay, isipin mo siya sa isang buo. So, 3y equal to 0 or 3y equal to pi. Okay? So, dalawa yan. So, pag natin in this case, 3y is 0 or 3y is, is pi. Okay? So, ang, so uh, marami, ta, marami kasi itong sagot, no? So, hindi lang 0 yan. So, pag nag-add ka ng 2 pi, possible answer yun. Kasi yung angle mo nandyan, pwede ka mag-add ng 2 pi. Magla-land ka pa rin doon. Okay, so mag add lang tayo na mag add ng 2 pi. E pi, okay. Kahit ganyan yun na lang siya isulat para hindi kayo malito. Ganon din kay pi. Pag nag add ka ng 2 pi, doon ka ulit magla -land. Add ka ng 2 pi. Okay, so meron kang 3 pi, 5 pi, 7 pi. 9 pi. Tapos marami pang iba. Tapos dito nyo na masasolve yung y by dividing both sides by 3. Ay, yung y, yung pi tuloy. So, y is 0, 2 pi over 3, 4 pi over 3, 2 pi, 8 pi over 3. Tapos may iba pa. Dito sa pangalawa, pi over 3, pi, 5 pi over 3, 7 pi over 3, 3 pi. Okay? So, ito yung mga kandidato mo sa mga sagot for case 1. So, ang tanong, sino dyan yung pipiliin mo at sino ang maiiwan? So, babalik ka doon sa restriction mo na ang sagot daw ay nasa 0 to 2 pi lang, not including 2 pi. Kasali si 0 but not 2 pi. So, possibly nakasali si 0 but not 2 pi. So, sino dyan yung pasok sa 0 to 2 pi? I-highlight ko yung pasok sa 0 to 2 pi. Si 0 pasok. 2 pi over 3. 4 pi over 3. Si 2 pi, hindi pasok. Okay, so, yung una, yung first 3 lang na yan. And then, for this one, ang mga pasok lang, si pi over 3. Pi, 5 pi over 3. 7 pi over 3, gano'ng kalaki ba yung 7 over 3? That is 2 point something. No? So, 2 point something pi is greater than 2 pi. Kaya hindi kasali yan. So, dun sa case 1, ang tatanggapin mo lang na sagot, eto, tsaka, ayan. Case 2, gano'n din yung gagawin natin, similar lang. Cosine 2y, Minus 1 is 0. So, meaning cosine 2y is 1. So, anong mga angle ang magpapa 1 sa cosine? So, x coordinate mo 1. Tama. So, 0 o kaya 2 pi, no? So, yung 2y mo... So, 2y mo is 0. Tapos, add ka lang ng add ng 2 pi. Nadamay na dun yung, yung 2 pi. So, 6 pi, 8 pi, etc. Marami pa iba. And then, you divide everything by 2. Pero, ang tatanggapin mo lang ay... 0, 2, 2 pi. So, 0, tsaka pi lang. So, nakompleto na natin yung cases. Okay? So, isipin nyo muna na isang buo yung angle. Tapos, uh, kukunin nyo lang yung mga coterminal angle. So, mag add ka lang na mag add ng 2 pi. Or, pwedeng mag-subtract na mag-subtract ka rin ng 2 pi. 
Pero zero to two pa lang naman yung gusto natin. So, add ang ginagawa natin. So, ang solution set is the set containing zero, two pi over three, four pi over three. Kinokopy ko lang yung mga naka-highlight. Okay, yung 0 and pi andito na, 0 pi. So ito yung solution set na gusto natin. Anyari naghang ba? Naghang ba yung stream? Anong nakikita nyo? Hello? Choppy? Ah, ang bagal internet. Wala na wala yung live ko. Hello? Ayan, okay na ba? Hello? Ayan, o. Anong konti? <laughs> ah, may putol-putol. Pero yung explanation ko sa case 1 at case 2, nagputol-putol ba? Ayan, smooth na ulit yung stream. Okay. So, pwede naman natin tong i-replace sa YouTube, no? Kapag na, ano, na-upload ko na. Upload ko naman siya agad. Okay. So, move on na tayo dun sa last example natin. Ito na lang. Number 5. Ayan. Okay. So, para hindi tayo malito, uh, kung mapapansin nyo yung angle nyo, hindi siya simply x lang, no? Meron siyang plus pi over 6. So, ilet theta nyo na lang siya. Okay. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 3 sin theta plus 2 cosine squared theta equal to 3. Tapos, try to express it as a single trig function. But we know that cosine squared is 1 minus sin squared theta. So, meron kang 3 sin theta plus 2 minus 2 sin square theta equal to 3. Okay? Tapos, lipat natin yung constant sa left. Tapos, arrange natin yung mga sin in decreasing degree. So, 2 minus 3 is negative 1. Let us multiply both sides by negative 1 para lang mawala yung negative doon. Ganyan, ba? Okay, try natin i-factor. Sana factorable. Feeling ko ganyan yan. Mag-work ba yan? 1 ang product. Negative sine theta minus 2 sine theta is negative 3 sine theta. Product of this is 2 sine squared theta. So, we have 2 sine theta minus 1 is 0 or sine theta minus 1 is 0. So, cases ulit. Case 1. 
2 sin theta minus 1 is 0. So, 2 sin theta is 1 or sin theta is 1 half. So, ano yung mga magpapa 1 half sa sin? So, sa sin y coordinate yun, no? So, yung unang angle is pi over, is it pi over 6? Yung isa, 5 pi over 6. So, ganun ulit, hiwalay nyo parang yung ginawa natin sa number 4. Parang ganito. So, yung una, theta is pi over 6. Tapos, yung isa naman, theta is 5 pi over 6. Okay? Tapos, magdadagdag tayo ng magdadagdag ng 2 pi. Bakit, bakit sa case na to nagdadagdag ng mga 2 pi pala? Kasi yung angle mo, hindi siya single variable lang. Hindi siya variable lang. Hindi x lang, hindi theta lang. May plus something siya. Ganun yung ginagawa. Pag may plus something, or kapag may ibang coefficient yung y mo. Okay? So, kaya tayo nag a ng 2 pa. Hindi ka tulad dun sa mga first case. O, pag nakuha mo yung dalawa, stop na. Kasi, yung variable lang yung angle mo. X lang. Theta lang. Okay? Okay, so nakuha na natin yung dalawa. Tapos, mag a lang na mag a ng 2 pa, ba so, kung denominator 6, 2 pi is 12 pi over 2. Tama. Ah, 12 pi over 6. So, add ka ng 12 pi over 6, you get 13 pi over 6, 25 pi over 6, ah, 37 pi over 6. Tapos, marami pang iba. Okay, hindi. Ituldok-tuldok mo na lang kasi uh, hindi mo naman sila kukunin lahat. Tapos sa pangalawa naman, 17 pi over 6, 29 pi over 6, ilan ba to? Uh, 41 pi over 6, etc. Okay. Tapos babalik nyo kung ano yung theta nyo, babalik nyo sa x, ano ba x mo? So, x plus pi over 6 is equal to this thing. Kopyahin natin. So, isa-isa lang pagsasolve natin. Ha? So, x is equal to, what do you do? Subtract pi over 6 on both sides. So, lahat lahat to babawasan mo ng pi over 6 kasi lilipat mo yan sa kabila so 0 12 pi over 6 24 pi over 6 36 pi over 6 or x is equal to 0 2 pi 4 pi 6 pi etc ok so yun yung sa first part Lagyan nga natin ng bullet para hindi tayo malito. Pati sa previous item, i-bullet natin siya. Okay, so ganun din yung gagawin dito. Theta mo is x plus pi over 6. Equal to dito sa maraming stuff na yan. And then, lipat si pi over 6 sa kanan, you subtract pi over 6 sa lahat ng mga nilista mo. So, 4 pi over 6, 16 pi over 6, 28 pi over 6, uh, 40 pi over 6, etc. Or, x is 2 pi over 3, 8 pi over 3, 14 pi over 3, 20 pi over 3. 
etc. Okay? Pero sino lang ang tatanggapin? Ang sabi sa panuto, what is panuto? Panuto is instruction. So, in between 0 to 2 pa lang. So, dito sa mga candidates natin, sino dyan ng mga 0 to 2 pa lang? Of course, si 0. Pagdating kay 2 pa, hindi na siya kasali. Dito naman sa pangalawa, 2 pi over 3. 8 pi over 3, that is beyond 2 pi over 3 because 8 pi is 2 point something. Okay? So, sa dalawang yan, dalawa lang ang nakuha natin, 0 at 2 pi over 3. Okay, na values ng x. So, that is for case 1. For case 2, saan ko ba susulat? I need space. Dito na lang. Sa kanan. Case 2, sin theta minus 1 is 0. So, sin theta is 1. So, kailan magwa 1 ang sin? So, dapat ang angle mo tatama dyan, no? Right? So, 1 ang y coordinate. So, anong angle yun? So, theta is pi over 2. Tapos mag-add ka ng mga 2 pi. 2 pi is 4 pi over 2, no? So, magiging 5 pi over 2. Uh, 9 pi over 2, etc. Marami pang iba. So, usually, ang nililista kong values, mga tatlo lang, 3 to 4 lang. So, pag nag a ng 2 pi, Napansin nyo dito, ilan lang nilista ko? Apat lang. Dito, tatlo lang. Kapag tinatamad ako, tatlo lang. Pero madalas apat. Apat ba sinulot ko dito? One, two, three, four. Ah, dito pala lima. Okay, sinipag ako. Okay. So, ibalik natin yung x mo. X mo is x plus pi over six. May questions ba so far? Baka may tanong kayo. lahat yan, babawasan mo ng pi over 6. So, x is pi over 2 minus pi over 6 5 pi over 2 minus pi over 6 9 pi over 2 minus pi over 6 Okay, so x is ano yan? Pi over 2 minus pi over 6 is 5 pi over 6. Tama ba? Ah, hindi pala. Mm, hirap na mo mag-fraction. So, combine ko lang ha. Uh, times 3. So, 3 pi minus pi dito. 15 pi minus pi. So, tama ba pagkakasubtract ko? Or x is 2 pi over 6. 14 pi over 6 26 pi over 6 or x is pi over 3 uh, 7 pi over 3 13 pi over 3 okay so ang tatanggapin lang natin yung between 0 to 2 pi of course si pi over 3 accepted how about 7 pi over 3? Nasa 0 to 2 pi ba yun? 7 over 3 is 2 point something. So, that is beyond 2. So, lampas ito sa 2 pi. So, hanggang pi over 3 lang tayo. So, ang solution set for number 5, 0, 2 pi over 3, and pi over 3. Yay! May tanong ba? Okay. Wali. Masayon ang moral ng story ha. Mag-a-add ng mag-a-add ng 
ng tupay doon sa mga nakuha yung initial na sagot sa unit circle kapag weird yung angle mo when I say weird meron kang may translation ka may plus or minus something ka or kapag yung angle mo uh, may constant okay tapos 0 to 2 pa yung restriction pero pag wala na makuwari x lang kung ano yung makuha yung dalawa final na yun or kung theta lang asa na yung example na kung theta lang kung ano yung makuha yung dalawa asa na yung case 2 yun na yung sagot okay at expect ninyo kapag yung angle ninyo yung may constant multiple yung parang ganito yung may coefficient aside from 1 let's say ang coefficient mo 2 or 3 mag expect ka ng maraming sagot okay may questions pa ba? wala na Sige, kung wala na, you may go. Goodbye.